friends, my name is Julia. It is Sunday, July 16th. I'm going to be trying to wake up at 5 a.m. for a week straight. See ya. <coughs> it's 5.07 a.m. Honestly, waking up this morning wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. No, I hate that noise. Anyways, say hello. He's so cute, look. My mom got him for me because I was having a bad month. Anyways, I don't really know what to do with myself. My brain is only forming half thoughts right now. The sun is gonna come up in like five minutes. I've come up with a game plan. It's 5.16 right now. I'm gonna chill on my phone and go on social media till 5.26. Then I'm gonna get up. Mm. What am I doing? I never put my contacts in. I need to pick out a gym fit. This is my gym fit. Now that I'm ready for the gym, I'm gonna go downstairs and get something to eat because does that need an explanation? I need to eat. This is how psychotic I am about ice drinks. I put ice in a cup overnight in the freezer room so I'd have an ice cold drink this morning because I can't use the ice machine in the morning because it wakes up my family. I am gonna make breakfast because I gotta eat something before I go. I'm gonna crash and burn real fast. I'm gonna surprise you guys. The humidity here is so disgusting. Look, hello. I literally feel like I'm in the jungle right now. It's like 6.30 and I'm just now leaving for the gym. I definitely had a slow start to my morning. It's okay. You know what? What's the rush? I think today I'm going to do glutes, abs, and cardio. That's my game plan. The nice thing is, is that there's like nobody out right now. I'm also hoping the gym is pretty empty. We'll see, I guess. Ugh. I feel weird. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel weird. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the gym. It is like criminally hot right now. Ugh, I hate being hot. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees today. I'm not having it. It's 8.23. I feel pretty good. I mean, this is the time that I would wake up for work. So I accomplished a lot so far. I decided to run today because I thought it was a running day. But then when I started running, I kind of wanted to die. It was just really bad. Today's hair wash day and I'm so excited. It's becoming one of my new favorite things because I recently discovered this wavy hair routine that I really like. And it's just like fun for a change. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna do that later today because I don't have the time to do it this morning. I have to sneeze. <laughs> there it is. Should I start up a podcast? I've been really thinking about that recently. I honestly might. Comment down below if you think that would be a good idea. You ever like have these nails on and you just want to like, you know, just, just bite them off because that's how I feel right now. I'm fresh out of the shower. I'm going to quickly do my skincare. Hey guys, I'm back. It is 4.10. I just got out of work. I'm heading home now. I definitely hit a wall in the middle of my work day. I got so tired. I see a package. <laughs> hey squad. Okay. Hi, 7.37 p.m. I basically just got home from work, took a shower, edited a YouTube video, ate dinner, and here we are. I'm coming on here because I wanna do my Chamberlain Coffee unboxing with you guys. This is the box we have. Also, this is me after my wavy hair routine. I really like the way it looks. I'm still working on perfecting it. So if you guys don't know, I've been a huge fan of Emma Chamberlain since she started. I got so many fun things. I'm so excited. I'm gonna give you guys a haul. I decided to purchase this little like trio because it comes with all these different matcha flavors. This light is like, 
I just burn my fingers on my lamp. This trio comes with a mango matcha, her classic matcha, and the vanilla matcha, which I already tried. I'm so excited to try these. I also got a strawberry matcha latte with oat milk. I gotta give it to her and her marketing team. They're brilliant. I splurged. Didn't need this, but I got it. I got her little limited edition Chamberlain coffee lamb hoodie. I really like this hoodie. I didn't order this, but because I ordered so much stuff, they sent it to me for free. This is their careless cat blend. And I think I can actually try to drink this because it's half calf. So it may not make me freak out completely. I have a problem with caffeine where it makes me get super anxious and decompose, basically. It is almost 9 p.m. I'm exhausted. Good night. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in bed and rot on my phone for 10 minutes. My legs are actually so sore. I don't know how I'm supposed to do gymnastics today. Honestly, I really like my hair like this. I don't know if it's just a phase, but it just has a little bit more pizzazz. Set up my editing station. Look familiar? I'm gonna be editing my Bermuda vlog. By the time you're watching this, that one's already out, so go check it out. Link in the description. Hello. It's like 6.20. I've been editing for about an hour. I think I'm gonna start to get up and get ready because I'm gonna be going to my club gym to train today. That's basically the routine that I've been on. I have been going to the gym to do gymnastics Tuesday and Thursdays and their practices are from like 8 to whenever but I have work so I normally just go first thing when it starts and then leave like an hour and a half later. So yeah, I'm gonna go do some flips. That is made. This is the gym fit. We have this brown gymnastics tank, some Maggie brush. I also need to pack what clothes I want to wear to work because I go straight from the gym to work, which is kind of gross, but I don't really have a choice. I just throw on some good old deodorant and pray. Honestly, I don't sweat that much at the gym when I'm doing like gymnastics because I'm not really working out that hard. I'm just kind of like doing skills. This is the dress I'm gonna wear today. It's cute little flats. I have the most elite breakfast sandwich. I've been eating these for years. They're so good. Basically, a uh, ham, egg, and cheese with spinach and an English muffin. Nothing beats it. I just demolished my breakfast sandwich. Now I want to try the Chamberlain Coffee Careless Cat Blend. It's 7.20. I'm now leaving for the gym. I'm gonna be five minutes late because I left too late. I had to go to the bathroom before I left because coffee just does things to my body. Anyways, see you guys there. Deuces. My childhood. It's 9.17. Now I'm gonna head over to work. Gym was good, relatively. I really didn't do anything special at all. I just did basics today because my body was hurting. I made it to work. I'm just putting my aquaphor on. I love aquaphor. I think today I'm gonna have to put together an impossible puzzle, which is probably gonna take me like half the day at least. I talked about this in one of my other videos, but basically I do a lot of different things at work. I get to work with a lot of different departments and do a lot of different things, which is really nice because every day is different. Yesterday I did a lot of work on their online filing system. Today, I think I'm gonna do product testing, which is probably gonna be pretty time consuming.
Okay, hi. I'm back home. It's 4.30. I had a little bit of traffic on the way home. I also stopped at a flower shop on my way home because today is my parents' 25th anniversary. Congratulations, mom and dad. My sister and I got them this lovely flower arrangement, and we also got them an edible arrangement, like chocolate-covered strawberry set. When my sister gets home in roughly, like, 10 minutes, we're gonna surprise them with that stuff. Oh, wow. My parents just left for their anniversary dinner and my grandparents are going out on a little dinner date, which means that Pei and I are gonna have a dinner date tonight. Also, I tried to like refresh my waves because after the humidity and sleeping on it and putting it up for gymnastics today, they kind of fell. If you guys have any wave refreshing tips, please comment those down below because I'm just I'm trying to learn more about this. I wanna perfect it. My sister and I are trying out this new Asian restaurant and they have mango sticky rice there. And if you guys watched my hang out with me and do my nails video, you would know that I've been very obsessed with mango sticky rice recently, so I'm really excited. So my grandmother just got a massage gun. Show me your massage gun, Nana. Do we like it? It's terrific. It makes you feel really good. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, it feels great. The restaurant that we went to was really, really good. I loved it. But the one thing is, is that they didn't have mango sticky rice and I was told that they did. All is okay. I got takeout from another one of my favorite restaurants and I was able to get my mango sticky rice. I could cry. This stuff is my newest obsession. That's what it looks like. It may not look good to you, but it is very good to me. Wow. Can I have my nuts? There should be a bag of nuts. They're heaven. And then just like a cup of water. Oh, allow me. <laughs> These are so good, dude. Our whole family has explosive diarrhea. My stomach be brewing. I'm so tired. I'm gonna get up at 5.30. I'm gonna force myself to get up, but I'm just so comfy in my bed. I have risen. I'm gonna force myself to make my bed right now so I can't get back in it. The week has gotten progressively harder trying to wake up. My body hurts today. That's because I haven't been sleeping enough. Although we've been waking up at 5 a.m., I have been unable to fall asleep before 10.30, 11 p.m. I think it's finally catching up with me a little bit. It's my breakfast. It is two scrambled eggs with spinach and a piece of toast. I love toast. I'm a secret iPad kid. Not having it this morning. I've just been like very scatterbrained. Normally I work and move around pretty efficiently, but today I had to make like three separate trips upstairs because I kept forgetting things. I also am not feeling like I'm having my most how do I put this? I'm not feeling bonita this morning. I just feel gross, like, I don't know. It's 6.40 by the way. I like had an extremely slow wake up and pulling myself together. All I did with that time was get up, get changed and eat breakfast, which is also kind of like annoying me because like, why did it take me that long to get out of the house? I literally look like an egg. back. The gym was okay today. I got everything done that I wanted to get done, but I'm leaving later than I wanted to leave. I just was getting so distracted today. I don't know what was up with me. Like after every single set, I'm um, picking up my phone, checking things, doing things, who even knows. I also am just so forever humbled by how weak my arms are compared to my legs at least. It's terrible. Just showered. I'm all changed for work. I tried something new with my hair. I kind of hate it. I don't really have time to change it. So it's gonna stay. I have to leave in like 30 minutes. I took a little bit too much time on my skincare today. <sighs> I've been eating nuts lately because that's all I feel like. I might get that. Oh, Okay, we're hustling. We're hustling. 
I'm on my way to work. I left a little bit late because I was low-key having a mental breakdown about the way my hair looked. I was just really... It was irritating me, okay? So I had to fix it. Today I tried the mango matcha and it is so good. How do we like the hair though? We can actually see the braid now, right? Okay, bye. I need to go. I'm, I'm about to get on the highway. This is like big girl driving now. Oh my gosh. I made it to work on time. I literally had to park in the world's tightest spot. They're working on construction, so everybody moved up to the open area that I normally park in. Everyone's just loving to park not in their lines. There will be a spot that's technically supposed to be open, but only is half open because everyone's parking like idiots. <laughs> you serious? I just got out of work. It's 4.08. I'm heading home right now because I have a call with my new assistant coach at Brown. So that'll be exciting. I don't really know what else I'm gonna do today. I literally had to work on this impossible puzzle all day today. Six hours, 10 to four, impossible puzzle. It's definitely gonna take me the rest of the week. It is much later than the last time you guys saw me, but I really didn't do that much. My hair looks so poofy. And can we talk about the random patch? See? I don't know what's going on. My hair is having a crisis. I'm so sincerely sorry that I'm making my whole personality trait recently. My hair and my newfound love and discovery of my wavy hair. I can't help it. I'm going to try to go to bed at a reasonable time tonight because I think my lack of sleep definitely caught up with me today. I love nothing more than my nighttime skincare routine or just like my skincare routine. Can I manifest right now? Whatever profession I end up in, I want to be working around something with skincare. I love it so much. Bruh. He's pissed that we're awake right now. I did not do a good job at falling asleep early. I didn't end up going to sleep until like 10.30 again. Because my sister and I were watching YouTube on my parents' bed, and I can't say no to good sister bonding. My face has been feeling puffy recently. Like, I don't really know what's going on. I think this was one of the best breakfast sandwiches that I've ever made. I decided to eat outside today because it is probably the most perfect morning I've ever seen. I had to capitalize. We got my breakfast sandwich. We have the matcha. Feeling good. This morning when I was making this breakfast sandwich, I had just enough ingredients to make the entire thing the way that I wanted to. This one is just the regular Chamberlain matcha, classic matcha. So good, like the best I've ever had. This morning is so perfect. Like, I feel like I'm gonna move right now. Can we just take a moment? This is so peaceful. Hello friends. I'm actually leaving for the gym on time today. If there isn't any surprise traffic, I should be there by eight o'clock on the dot. This morning was super smooth. I don't really know what it was. Yesterday I was kind of having a day, a morning, but I don't know, I'm just not really fighting with life today. You know when you can feel your body kind of coming out of sleep? I felt that this morning. Although I was complaining in the beginning, it was honestly a lot easier to get up this morning than it was some of the other mornings. At the beginning of this week, I was kind of in this weird mental slump. I don't really know why I feel like I'm finally on the other side of that mental health and just like your mental headspace is so confusing to navigate because it's just such an abstract thing you know it's not like something you can physically see or touch and just like understand that way it's just so confusing sometimes especially when it's your own brain I have some goals for the gym today flip some doubles on floor and I want to flip a vault it doesn't have to be gorgeous but I need to flip that thing I have not flipped a vault since nationals and that was back in April it's almost the end of July so <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of podcasts during my work days. Here are some of my favorites. The Moments Podcast by Lexi Hidalgo, On My Mind by Ava Jules, Anything Goes by Emma Chamberlain, and Waves and Rays by Lindsay Ray. But anyways, wait. <laughs>
I just got out of work and it's 417 because it took me so long to walk to my car I thought wearing heels today was a good idea just because I was under the impression that I was gonna be doing that impossible puzzle all day but they actually wanted me to do other stuff today which required more walking than I've ever done for this internship before okay maybe that's a little dramatic but my feet really hurt you know what screw it i'm driving home barefoot today was just kind of a really slow day i felt like i was checking the clock every hour it's friday eve thank god i'm about ready for it to be the weekend also one of my coworkers commented on the wavy patch of hair on the back of my head i'm not oblivious i know it's there but i was hoping nobody would really notice it because everyone's just so caught up in their own things but no i got called out for it within the first five minutes that i was at work this morning I think I need to take a nap or just like lie low. I think I just need to like veg out for a little bit. I'm exhausted. We're 12 minutes late, so it doesn't even count. We're late because I had to do my skincare, okay? I have my priorities straight. It's Thursday night. Pay and I are gonna watch the new episode, episode four of The Summer I Turned Pretty. We watched all three episodes last Friday. Guys, I'm actually gonna go to bed early tonight. So this is why I haven't answered any of my phone calls and texts? It's 9.36 p.m. I did a good job at getting in bed at a decent time tonight. I'm going to try to be putting my phone down and trying to fall asleep within the next 10 minutes, but we'll see how good I actually do at that. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Welcome to Friday, TGIF. This morning, I actually woke up on my own without an alarm. It's like 5.20. I need to get up. I was gonna do this in the bathroom, but I just wanna stay in my bed as long as I can. I'm gonna peel off my pimple patches together. This is pimple patch number one. Kind of still looks bad, though. Pimple patch number two. Ooh. Sorry. Always gotta inspect after. <laughs> This is my gym fit. I rest tour. the simpler route for breakfast this morning. Two pieces of ham and two over easy eggs. My green juice. I'm going to be putting soy sauce on my eggs. It tastes so good with the runny yolk. Just trust me. So we're having an earlier start to this morning. I want to go to Target after I finish at the gym today because I need to get my dad a birthday card. My sister is going to be picking up Heavenly Donuts for him this morning, getting him like a coffee and a donut, two of his favorite treats. And then we also got him some clothes and a new lunchbox from L.L. Bean. Today I want to do glutes, core, cardio, and stretching. I'm probably going to do the same exact weights workout that I did on Monday. I kind of want to do my three-way cardio, which is when I do 10 to 15 minutes of three different cardio exercises. My goal is to see if I can run a mile, do the stair step around level 10 for 10 to 15 minutes, and then do the elliptical for 10 to 15 minutes. I've only done this workout one other time, and it was really hard, but I felt really good after. Oh my gosh, I forgot my water bottle. Okay. much of a water stop to drink from the water fountain. I'm up here to do some abs. Oh my lord, I am so tired. Today was a really good workout. I got everything done I wanted to get done. And I even got to try one of the new machines they just got. The like one that's specifically for glute bridges and I love it. When I do like hip thrusts and stuff, I feel like I'm not just working my glutes, I'm working all these other muscles too and it's like getting evenly distributed amongst those muscles. But this one was just like completely burning in my glutes. I approve. I ended up doing a 15 minute run, 15 minutes of the stair stepper, and then 10 minutes on the elliptical. And I ended up stretching. So extremely productive gym day today. Day. I was just like on my grind, but now I'm exhausted and I know my legs are gonna be so sore tomorrow Super quick before I go inside. These are the two cards that I got. This is the card that my sister wanted I felt a specific calling to this card. This guy caught my attention at first But then I saw this little little thing and then I was like, oh that, that would be funny. Happy birthday dad from your son You're awesome and cool and loved a lot too. So lucky to have a great dad like you. Mwah. Love you so much dad Let's Go feed my fish Another day in the life, RMS International. Check it out. Julia Bedell, like and subscribe. It's my birthday. First comment. 
first comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Hello friends, it's 417. I got out of work a little bit ago. Currently driving home, but on my way I'm stopping to get some gas. Can't believe we made it through the week. I made it through a full work week. I made it through a full week of waking up at 5 a.m. We did it. I feel really accomplished. I feel very, very good. It's about to start downpouring. Sorry, a tweet just spawned in my brain. No, I should not have gone this way. This was stupid of me. So... It's 6-11, Friday, July 21st, and we have officially finished a week in my life trying to wake up at 5 a.m. This video was honestly so much fun for me to film. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the first week in my life that I've ever done before. I'm all showered and I'm very much ready for bed. This week drained me. Please disregard all the clothes on my bed in the bag. If you made it to this point in the video, comment down below the earliest that you have ever woken up. We made it through our week. I'm feeling very good, very accomplished. I would say it was a success and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show some love to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be sure to see you all in the next one. Bye guys.